All right. We are in Papa Ben's train place. We're, we're actually in the back. I'm kind of starting this in the wrong place. Had to had to restart. Ah, uh, there's G Gage. That's what I'm interested in. Uh, that's so. That's cool. And then they have got all everything you need as far as trains go. HO scale on that side and G on this side. Those are cool. Whole town in HO. collector stuff uh, all the time parts you could ever want and sir if you want to see we have a club here it's called Houston in crowd it's been around since 1978 and this is their base of operations oh cool yeah so this is just a little bit by all means take a look awesome there we go that's what we're talking about That is cool. Well, this layout and this store has been here going on 14 years now. The shop was at one other location before, its original location in the valley. Um, we have the in Houston In Crowd, one of the founding members is Papa Ben, the original owner of this shop. His brother is the one that takes care of it now. Okay. And uh, right here you can see is a photo from 1978. That's one of the original first photos of the crowd. Gordon Bliss, he is a prominent member in the in crowd and the in scale community. He has a huge layout here in Houston. You can look him up on YouTube, Gordon Bliss. Gordon Bliss? Yes. Okay. Yeah, he's, he's had many uh, articles put out on him and magazines and YouTube videos done over them. Um, that was him as a kid right there in that striped shirt, and that's him a couple years back now. He's been in it the whole time. <clears throat> this right here is a replica of the old Houston uh, train station. This is what it is now with the Minute Maid Park. That's the old building. So this is okay. what it used to be. A member of ours custom built this, scratch built this about uh, eight years ago or so. And a uh, huge feature in this layout. That is very cool. Mm -hmm. How many hours? Oh, countless. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No <laughs> talent these days. And, and, and you don't see the pizza hut anymore. It all becomes something else. They're coming back, I heard, though. I don't right. know about that building design, but I heard the whole buffet thing's coming back. So that'd be nice. We're actually, yeah. Two levels? Oh, yeah. So down there is our staging area. On the panel right there to the left, that white box, all the lights, you can see that's basically all the track that's down there and what it looks like. So we have everything on automated switches down there with a, it's one giant reverse loop. Uh, I'll figure it up there. So I, my channel is in the RV genre, and I, we were at Cleburne State Park and went into town and visited a couple of train layouts there. Cool. And uh, they were, that, that video was very well received, and people were asking to see more of this content. Cool. And the more I see, the more I'm like, you know, I need to figure out how to put one of these little in-game layouts in my motor home. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can definitely do a lot with a little bit of space with the end scale. Of course, I was also looking at possibly V-gauge, but... V-gauge is very small. It's uh, becoming popular. However, uh, a lot of the time with the V-gauge stuff, is a little bit harder to obtain because it takes so long to produce those. 
and, but they're uh, they're very cool, very small. And then the other side of me, I've, just, I've got 10 acres of post oak savanna forest. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put a G gauge in my backyard. There you go. This dude is so cool. I appreciate you opening the door for me. Of course, every Saturday here at the shop, this door is open and club members are here running trains every okay. Saturday. It's become a, quite a staple for people to come in and stop in and just say hi and watch a couple laps go around. But uh, guaranteeing every Saturday and coming to the holidays, I think the second or third week of November, we start have, uh, being open on Sunday as well. And this room is open on Sunday as well throughout the holidays. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Now, if you're interested in seeing layouts, Houston has a lot of members, a lot of people that are trained guys with layouts. And you're getting right into the season.